This lesson looks at a typical airspeed indicator display from a light aircraft and defines some of the more common acronyms used in airspeed terminology. To conclude, we will look at the effect that blockages in the air pressure sensing system will have on the airspeed indicator, or ASI. The airspeed indicator often has critical speeds and speed ranges marked on the face of the dial. Speed ranges are denoted by coloured arcs, and we can see here an example of a typical ASI from a light twin-engine aircraft. ASIs for larger aircraft may also have similar markings. The white arc represents the flap operating range. It starts at the flaps down stall speed, VS0. This term will be defined more fully later. The maximum flap operating speed is known as VFE. In this particular example, we can see that VFE is 105 knots. The green arc represents the normal operating range. It starts from the speed which is known as VS1, and this speed will be defined shortly, and extends up to the normal operating speed limit, which is referred to in light aircraft as VNO. The yellow arc is the cautionary speed range, which extends from VNO up to VNE, which is the never exceed speed. In addition to the coloured arcs, certain critical speeds may also be defined by coloured radial markings. The VNE speed of 195 knots in our example is marked with a red radial line. The blue radial line, known as blue line speed, or VYSE, denotes the best rate of climb speed for single engine operation on a twin engine aircraft. We have seen now that markings often found on the dial of the ASI can denote specific airspeeds or airspeed ranges. And again, as we have seen, acronyms are often used to refer to these speeds. Other acronyms, which may be commonly used in connection with airspeed terminology, are listed on the screen, starting with VLO. This is the maximum landing gear operation speed. VLE. This is the maximum speed with the landing gear extended. VS0. This is the stall speed or minimum steady flight speed in the landing configuration. And VS1, which is the stall speed or minimum steady flight speed in a specified configuration. Note the difference between the definition of VS0 and VS1. To conclude the lesson, we will consider the effects that blockages or leaks in either the static or the pitot pressure sensing systems will have. Ice can be a major cause of blockage in both pitot and static systems. Insects and environmental factors such as sand can also cause blockages. Heating elements in the pitot static systems help prevent ice formation, but for flight safety, it is still essential that the effects of a blockage are recognised. In order to recognise the effects, envisage how the ASI works. Let us look at a blockage in the static system first. A static line blockage will mean that the static pressure in the instrument case will remain constant. As long as there is no change in altitude, the ASI will continue to read correctly. So we can say, no change in altitude, no change in indicated airspeed, or IAS. However, in the descent, the static pressure in the instrument case will remain trapped at the higher altitude air pressure, and will therefore remain at low pressure. This will allow the metal capsule, which is being fed by correct pitot pressure, to expand by an excessive amount. Therefore, in the descent, the ASI will overread. Conversely, in the climb, the static pressure in the instrument case will become artificially high and the metal capsule will not be able to expand correctly. The ASI will therefore underread.
If we now consider a leak in the static line, the effect will depend on whether the leak occurs outside or within the pressure hull of the aircraft. For instance, in a pressurized aircraft, if the leak occurs within the pressure hull, the static pressure sensed will be the cabin altitude pressure and not the ambient static pressure. A pitot system blockage will mean that the pressure in the metal capsule will remain constant. Even if the altitude remains the same, the ASI will not register any changes in airspeed. In the descent, the pressure in the instrument case will increase. The pressure in the metal capsule will remain fixed, which means that as altitude is lost, the metal capsule will compress by an excessive amount and the ASI will underread. Conversely, in the climb, the pressure in the instrument case will decrease, which will allow the metal capsule to expand by an excessive amount. The ASI will therefore overread. Leaks in the pitot system will reduce the pressure in the pitot line, and the ASI will therefore underread. In examinations, when you have to recall the effect of a blocked pitot or static probe quickly, without working it out from first principles, a useful aid memoir is PUDSOD, which stands for Pitot Blocked, Underreads in Descent, Static Blocked, Overreads in Descent. Remember this mnemonic because these types of questions are very common. Also, Examiners sometimes set questions in which, with a pitot blockage, they use the term the ASI acts in the same sense as an altimeter. All that this means is that the indicated speed reduces as the altitude reduces. Conversely, with a static blockage, the ASI acts in the opposite sense to an altimeter. That is, the indicated speed increases as the altitude reduces. A summary of ASI colour coding, common airspeed acronyms, and the effects of blockages and leaks is listed in sequence on the screen. The white arc is the flap operating range. The green arc is the normal operating range. The yellow arc is the cautionary speed range. VFE is the maximum flap extension speed. VNO is the normal operating speed limit. VNE is the never exceed speed. VLO is the maximum landing gear operation speed. VLE is the maximum speed with the landing gear extended. VS0 is the stall speed or minimum steady flight speed in the landing configuration. VS1 is the stall speed or minimum steady flight speed in a specified configuration. VYSE or blue line speed is the best single engine rate of climb speed. In level flight, a blockage in the static system will not affect the ASI reading. In the descent, a blockage in the static system will cause the ASI to overread, and in the climb, the ASI will underread. In level flight, the ASI will not register any changes in airspeed if the pitot system becomes blocked. Blockage of the pitot system in the descent will cause the ASI to underread, and in the climb, the ASI will overread.